We are almost at the end of the month of March, which is National Kidney Month. I had asked some of you viewers uh, that if you had stories, if you were perhaps in need of a kidney, if you were having a recent kidney transplant, to send in your stories and I would share them on my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to share Marcus Simon's story. He is 35 years old, um, recently married. He has been on dialysis for a little over two years now and he is in search of a kidney. His new wife, she is in the process of getting tested and hopes to be his kidney donor. Uh, so we definitely keep her and the family in prayer. Um, I included a few of his pictures, uh, some of him and his wife and his son, as well as his family. In October 2014, I became very ill and went to go see my doctor. After being examined, he sent me to the ER, where it was later found that I was experiencing lung and kidney failure, in addition to having blood counts so low that doctors said I should have been dead. I was sent to the ICU and immediately began dialysis and received a blood transfusion. Sometime after I fell asleep, my lungs filled with blood and I had to be intubated and sedated for a few days. I was finally diagnosed with the autoimmune condition Wegener's GPA and was given appropriate treatment. My lungs quickly began to clear after receiving steroids and chemotherapy, but my kidneys did not. From this point, I began outpatient hemodialysis treatments for four and a half hours each day, three days a week. Additionally, I had to undergo five more chemo treatments to get the Wegener's in remission. It has been a large undertaking with many life changes. I am no longer able to do many things I used to do, such as going to the office for work. But with the outstanding support of my employer, caretakers, family, and friends, I have been able to accept the challenge and attack my course of treatment. Although it would be a great blessing to receive a kidney from a deceased donor, my goal is to find a living donor. Marcus, thank you so much for sending in your story uh, and allowing me to share that with everybody. We send you, your wife, and your family lots and lots of prayers. Stay positive. Don't stop your fight. Uh, your kidney is out there, so don't stop searching for it. In his quest, to find a kidney he has created a blog and so i'm going to leave the blog link down below and marcus has also created a facebook page and it is called a life restored which is appropriately named um and so marcus we wish you lots and lots of luck we wish you lots of prayers go to his facebook page so that you can stay up to date with his story and his quest for a new kidney i hope that you find it in your heart to again share this story and see if we can somehow have a hand in helping Marcus and his family out um, in search for a new kidney for him. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Reserve your seat at Table for Seven. Thank you so much guys and have a fantastic day.